What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig, and we're going to be going over the markets today. Real quick, before it opens, this is going to be a super quick video. Um, you can check my past videos. We've been watching this for a long time. If you haven't subscribed, I suggest you do so for daily updates. It'd be much appreciated. Also, scroll down, smash that thumbs up button, and leave your comments. Will today be the day that Bitcoin breaks? It's a very good possibility. May even break before this uh, comes out. But this is your pre-market update. Something I wanted to point out here is the Dow Jones. Um, looks like it's got exaggerated divergence from yesterday's close. We made a lower low, or a lower high, and it was even on the RSI. Does look like the pre-markets are pumping, but I think it'll be short-lived. I think we come back down today, but that's only my opinion. Remember, any break of this 32.9, then that would uh, invalidate our downside in the immediate term. But so far, it's looking like we're probably going to continue down. Um, as you guys know, we've had this target here for uh, since I think we made it up here after this bounce here somewhere in January. We put this target down here. If we were to break this, which we did, we did hit it perfectly. Now, if this holds, maybe, maybe we've hit bottom and the traditional markets go up. But as you guys know, I think the traditional markets are in deep trouble. You can look at that on any one of my past videos. DXY getting a nice bounce here, but getting rejected at the EMAs. Remember, we could still come down and tag this. If we do, Bitcoin will probably get a little mini pump there. Uh, but remember, anytime DXY is going to get over this 102.46, then I think we could be seeing um, a pretty big dump for Bitcoin. Uh, this measured move from this rising channel from where we broke over here is down to 101. So I still think it's possible we get down to this range before the bounce, but I don't believe we'll go below this 101 even if we do drop here. Now, the weekly. So the weekly we broke out, remember our rising channel here, we had broken out. Bitcoin's looking pretty weak right now. We do have this target around 24.5, which was our target off the daily. As you can see here, uh, this is the RSI for the weekly. We still have plenty of room to go down, so be careful. I know a lot of people are expecting a huge bounce here. Even if we get a bottom here, I, it's not going to be a straight shoot up. Um, that's just not how markets work, guys. This It happened in March 2020, and people think it always happens like that. It's not how it happens. So let's take a look at Prime XBT. If you guys are interested in trading, definitely check it out. You can go to my YouTube page. There are tutorials on there. You can use my promo code SAVVY50. It'll get you 50% on top of whatever you... I'm sorry. It'll get you $7,000 bonus uh, for using my SAVVY50. Promo code SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. You can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all from one exchange. Definitely check it out. This is our daily chart. As you guys know, these five waves down, I was super bearish um, because the five waves down is not... A finished correction then we were looking for abc up which we got huge bull trap a lot of people say that wasn't a bull trap but if you guys remember back here i called 64 top uh when we were around 57 i said we would get a big dump there called the uh distribution phase and then we we're gonna abc up a bull trap i didn't think it would go that high obviously it did but we still got nevertheless the market structure was abc before more downside now, if we look here, I have some measured moves here. The daily measured move of the rising channel, right? Or I'm sorry, the rising broadening wedge. We bring that down and that gets us at target around 24.3. That's why I still believe there's a very good chance that we get there. Now, if we do get a bounce in this area, we did call the 25.6 bounce. If we do get a bounce in this area, remember we could range in this for a while. If you guys have watched my Amazon 2 Bitcoin comparison chart that's also on my YouTube channel right when you open it it's playing there if you want to go back and check it out I made the video on December 2nd seems to be playing out beautifully if we zoom in here and look at this bear flag that we were watching remember I said 48 would be a good short which it was and once we broke here this gets us our target down to that 25.6 which we hit this is on the daily but remember, we still have this measured move here that I think we're still going to at least come down and tag. It doesn't have to, but I still believe that's a very good possibility. Another target we have here is, and people say you say make the same video every day because we track the market here, unlike other channels that change their ideas every day. This idea has not changed. Once we broke this 
market structure right here. We take this, bring it down to the bottom of the flag, and we bring it down to here. We could definitely see 68.4 range, 6,800, somewhere in there. But you guys know I have a lower target if the Amazon chart plays out about 3,500. But um, I do expect if we break here, we're going to zoom in and take a look at our next targets. But like I said, I do think there's a good possibility this 24 area holds. But let's zoom in a little bit. So we've been talking about this descending triangle, right? And I know a lot of people are using this wick or this wick. Well, it actually starts right here. You have alternate touches from right here, right? So a break of this, like we've been talking about, that 28.6, then our next target is the measured move of the triangle. We bring it down around the 25.6 range. Now, if we do get a bounce here, we could come up to test that 28.7 again. Um, if we get back above that, then possibly this is a fake out. We continue up. This is a temporary bottom. But if this breaks, um, our next target's that 24 that we've been talking about, 24.3 ish. But if this does not hold, there is another target here, and that's measuring this as a bear flag, and we bring it down to the break. Could go as low as here. Now, if we get down to this level and bounce, um, that's pretty. It could possibly be the bottom. I'm not going to say it's the bottom because, as you guys know, I think we have months of sideways before the real capitulation. So if we bounce down here, come back up around that 20 range, get support on the 20, get everybody bullish again, possibly continue on down. But uh, like I said, a break of this 24, looking for around 16.5. If that breaks, then down here. Now, if this is one straight huge shot, then I do believe it will be a big, a big bounce. But... I don't think that is how it's going to play out. Make sure you're subscribed because we will be keeping up on this. But as of right now, if we break up past that 30,500, then we could possibly see 33. But as of right now, we are hugging this bottom range. If we don't get a bounce here. If we break this, these are out of the question for now. All right. So the four hour chart, same thing. Um, just zoomed in a little bit, but it is looking pretty bearish here. Remember, every time you test support, it's weaker and weaker and weaker. So if this breaks, it'll probably be a quick move down. We also have broken out of our RSI channel, came back up, tested it. We also have our long-term trend line right here, which we are back down below again. And I had told you guys the measured move of this is when the RSI gets down to this range is when it should bounce, 18 to 20 point range. Now, let's take a look at... Ethereum. So Ethereum, we have broken our support, guys. This is a very old chart. We've had these targets forever. Uh, we finally broke this. Our next target's around this 1564, maybe range in here for a while. But remember, we did a measured move on the RSI right here. That brings F Ethereum's down to about 15 or 16 before a real bounce. Um, which if this 50, 1564 breaks, we could be looking around the 700 range. Uh, does that mean it'll happen right now? It does not mean it'll happen right now, but it's a good possibility. And if we are in a long-term bear market, it could be a lot lower. Um, as you guys know, I think the Bitcoin bottom will be sometime in the middle or end of 2023. You can check my videos to find out why. Now, uh, this is another target we've had forever for Litecoin, that $25 range. I do expect a possible bounce around 50, maybe. But if that breaks, I'd be looking for the 24. And like I said, if we're in a longer term bear market, it could get much, much worse. All right, XRP. This was Litecoin over here, I'm sorry. XRP, I don't know if I called it, I don't know. But anyway, uh, this was our target, 28 cents. It's been there for a while. If we get a bounce there, we could come back up to the 55 range or whatever, and this could be our range area. But if that breaks, I'm looking for 17. Again, if we are in long-term bear market, much, much lower. Uh, gold. So gold is still playing on the bottom of this trend line again. We had a dip to the downside, fake out to the upside. Looks like it's coming back down. As you guys know, my target's around 1561. Again, if we're in a longer-term bear market, everything goes down except the DXY in a market crash. All right, so... Silver, as you guys know, 20. If this 20 breaks, I'm looking for around the 15.5 range, possibly much, much lower if we are in long-term bear market. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Scroll down, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments below, and let me know what you think is going on. Are we going to get the drop today, or are we going to bounce back up break to the upside of the channel? Curious to see what you guys got to say. Take it easy. Have a